We're back now with a move that is certain to sharpen the debate over legalizing marijuana in this country. Today, the New York Times became the largest newspaper to endorse decriminalizing pot at the federal level. It comes as many states have moved on their own in varying degrees. We get more tonight from NBC's Kristen Welker. All across the country, people are using pot with fewer legal consequences. Colorado and Washington becoming the first two states to legalize marijuana for recreational purposes. And today, the New York Times said the country needs to go further. In a long editorial, the paper wrote, the federal government should repeal the ban on marijuana. Comparing it to the days of prohibition, the paper argues that like in that period, otherwise law-abiding citizens today are becoming criminals. Three to four billion dollars a year is spent uh, on this, and there are like 600, 700,000 marijuana possession arrests a year. The reaction was swift. I think it should be a state issue. I don't think it's really a federal issue. I don't see how there would be anything that is so substantially beneficial to society by lifting a ban like that. Rewind to 1992 when Bill Clinton ran for president and his use of marijuana was a political liability. I didn't like it and didn't inhale and never tried it again. Compare that to candidate Barack Obama in 2008 who openly admitted to smoking and inhaling. 36 states plus the District of Columbia have loosened their marijuana laws and polls show more than 50% of Americans now think it should be legalized. We don't care if anybody smokes or doesn't smoke. Uh, this is we're absolutely not encouraging it. But the Times argues that it should still be off limits to those under 21. In an interview for Meet the Press, former Congressman Patrick Kennedy, who has admitted to battling drug addiction, said legalizing marijuana is a slippery slope. It ultimately will set up a marketplace for the commercialization. And with the commercialization, you're going to have a marketing campaign targeting kids. A concern shared by some other parents. We do not know the outcome except that the best evidence is that you lose, if you use marijuana as a teenager regularly, eight IQ points. And I don't know about the rest of the table, but I don't have, I don't have eight to lose. The Times noted there is still some debate about the health risks. President Obama has said he thinks marijuana is no more dangerous than alcohol, but he has not expressed support for legalizing it at the federal level. Meanwhile, two more states, Alaska and Oregon, will decide whether to allow marijuana for recreational purposes later this year. Lester. All right, Kristen, thanks. When we come